Welcome back to another wonderful episode of Let's Glitch, an ongoing series where we take advantage of in-game mechanics to find secrets and new discoveries in some of our favorite games. Today, we will be exploring the Crucible map, Twilight Gap, and Destiny 2. If you enjoy this type of content, please do consider subscribing as that helps our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your favorite spot and what you want us to glitch out of next time. Enjoy the video. First up, we have a nice little hidey hole over here near backside. If you jump up, you can actually fly right through this hole. If you're having trouble, try crouching or try using an empty sword. You can shoot through the staircase right here and it is a little bit broken. However, enemies can easily get away from you. But let's say somebody's chasing you with a super and you jump down here, they're definitely not getting you. As you saw in the intro, it's possible to jump behind the gondola and get on these little wires. You can go pretty far back, pretty much to this tree. Once you hit the turn back, make sure to stop instantly because you will die as soon as you walk past it. You do get a really good range with your sniper and any other weapon here. It's pretty broken. I don't know why these wires have physics and collision boxes, but hey, that's bungee for you. If you do walk up close to this building, you can look down and shoot in it. And it gives you a good vantage point on the capture point here. Just inside the gondola, there's actually a pretty good spot that you can use stasis to get to. If you love your stasis grenade with this little ledge, you can kind of sneak in here and crouch. It does give you a good vantage point into the spawn. And then if you cross over, you can actually get in a little cubby here and hide and look down and guard the room. Likewise, you can jump up on the other side and get a great vantage point of the other side of the map. The last spot for gondola is on either side. If you exit and jump on these railings, you can actually get all the way to the top. And then there's one railing near the top, I think four down that you can jump in here and stand on. It's a pretty sick spot for sniping. I mean, look for yourself. At cliffs, if you jump off the end of the catwalk over here, there's actually one little snow mountain that you can stand on and there's no turn back. So you can literally stand here and you snipe the gondola and you can get some pretty good shots. Near the other end of the cliffs is this little hole that you can crouch through on the staircase. Now, this isn't going to really give you an advantage to shoot anybody, but say somebody's chasing you with a roaming super and you come in here, it's not likely that they're going to get you unless they see you go in there. Now, this next spot's pretty interesting. Just above the last one at cliffs, you can actually throw a stasis grenade at an angle here, jump up it, and crouch on top of this light. I'm assuming you can get on top of all the lights in this area and it's not a great spot. It is pretty much an ultimate rat spot. Like who's gonna look up here? Let's be honest. Come to the guns. There's actually two really easy, great spots to get to. You just jump off of the gun itself and then boom, you're on this platform and you have free reign to shoot down. Now, if you wanna get a little spicy, you can jump one up on top of this beam and then get a little bit of a different angle. Just around the corner, if you come over to here to this catwalk, you can jump up in this corner and get stuck. You can then shoot any unsuspecting people under you. If you come to the broken gun, there's actually a pretty nifty spot that you can stand on. They'll put you right above the enemy spawn point, and then you can shoot them as they walk in. You filthy animal. The so vents is a pretty interesting room. There's about five different spots, if not more, that you can get up onto and just have height advantage. Like, honestly, this map is just full of these types of little glitch areas. If you mosey on over to the upstairs area, there's actually a little bar here that you can jump on and stand. Not only can you stand here, but you can walk all the way across the bar and back. You can see three of the four entrances to this room. At Cranes, there's actually a really nice spot you can jump up on top of this event and see every major point of the map that's outside. Just over here at the elevator, there's these three different lights hanging off the wall. All of them have collision boxes and you can stand on all of them. So what does this mean? You can get some pretty good sniper shots. 
This next spot's not really a glitch, but it's the type of mobility and maneuvering that I would try to perfect if I was still playing Destiny 2 competitively. Like, honestly, just look at this little gap you can jump through here. It gives you so many possibilities to get to so many different locations on the map in no time at all. A lesser skilled player would not be able to keep up with this maneuvering. While exploring, I found it pretty interesting that if you go under this bridge right here, it has no textures and you can just look up. The last thing I'll leave you with is that backside. If you run into this wall over here, you actually get a turn back barrier. And if you stand there, it kills you. Bungie, why is this here? I'm confused. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. And as always, stay curious, Guardian.